Little, good look at a three, missed it. Precious has the rebound. Lillard trying to pick up some pressure in the backcourt as Toronto passes out of it. Van Vliet under the tin to Siakam, spins to the baseline. Pascal stuck in no man's land, throws it up over his shoulder, hits the rim. Rebound there goes to Little. Would have liked to have seen Pascal pass out instead of trying to force that. It's 15 now with five minutes, and they've had two chances to score. Portland, air ball from the near corner. Grant, which team looks like the tired team right now? Yeah, who played the back-to-back last night, although Toronto energized with the lead. Portland's had two full days of rest. Van Vliet, far sideline. Pascal, three ball. Up and in for Pascal. It's a west side three, and the Raptors lead by 18 on a 14-0 run. Lillard, far corner. Grant driving along the baseline. Van Vliet comes in and swats it away, and he barks to the bench, to the crowd. Freddie is feeling it in the fourth. Well, Fred talking to them too. Hey, man, you guys were talking to me when you blocked some. You got to take some back. 4.37 to go in the game. Raptors leading 108.90. Lillard has it near corner. Van Vliet in front of him. Freddie leans in on Lillard, puts it on the floor, drives to the 10, throws his body into Barnes, got the bucket, wanted the call, didn't get it. That breaks up the Raptor 14-0 run. 4.20 to play. Toronto leading by 16. Freddie, deep triple. No good. Barnes under the 10. Got it. Fouled. No call. And they finally blow a late whistle. And Barnes goes to the line with a stink face. And understandably so. Because it took him forever to make that call. Now, Scotty did a great job on the offensive glass retrieving it. And better late than never. And if you're the Raptors, a chance to push this thing back up to 18. Scotty flirting with a triple-double tonight. 14 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Point total just grew by 1. Yep, give him 15 now. 6 of 11 from the floor. 109-92. Raptors lead. 4-14 to play. Second free throw clean as well. Simons across center for the Blazers, goes over on the wing far side to Lillard. Lillard weaves through traffic, gets to the 10, and dunks it down. He found a gap, and he went straight to the rim. Yeah, I was so concerned about the three with the Raptors that they, they gave him an open driving lane. One ten ninety four Raptors by 16 with 3.45 to go. Van Vliet drives, finds Barnes. Oh, and look out, Scotty Barnes. He was in the far corner. Came along the baseline, up and under the 10, and he flushed it down with a big-time dunk. Well, they pressured Van Vliet, and they double-teamed. Portland comes back, and somewhat of a similar play. Dribble penetration, handoff on the baseline, and then Grant goes up and under the 10, takes the bump, and a three-point play coming for Portland. One twelve ninety six Raptors leading as Grant awaits the free throw. 3.31 to play in the game. Grant makes it. It's a 15-point lead for the Raptors. Truthfully, the Raptors right now, two or three more scores, and this thing is done. Van Vliet across center on that big Blazers logo. Grant on his right hip. He lobs a pass to Siakam down Main Street. Beautiful pass in traffic to Achua, who is waiting, presenting himself in the back door. He was fouled at the rim, and Precious is going to the line. Well, I like the way Fred Van Vliet is handling the pressure. They're coming after him, doubling. He's doing a good job of handling the ball, and the Raptors spreading the floor. Because when that ball leaves Fred's hands, it's going to another playmaker in Pascal. And you've got a four-on-three advantage with a guy who's used to making plays. And now Pascal Siakam is called for a technical foul. Precious is standing at the line waiting to shoot free throws. And Pascal barking too much to get a tech? They just handed a free point to the Blazers. That's not a good look. Well, 
probably get a look at the replay. And guys were just standing around. I, I'm not sure what would have warranted the technical. Precious knocks down the first free throw. 113-98. Achua tonight, 21 points, 13 rebounds. I, I love Pascal's comment. He said, this is a grown man's game. <laughs> Second free throw good for Achua as well. Perfect night at the stripe, 4-4. Four of four. Raptors as a team have missed only one all evening. 21-13 and 13 for Precious tonight. That's a big night. 16-point lead. Lillard blew a tire, fell to the floor. He thought he was tripped, wanted to call. Double teamed on the baseline. Now he's barking at David Guthrie as Grant drives on the far side and lays it in. Lillard still yapping at Guthrie. How long's the leash for him? 14-point lead for the Raptors as Van Vliet comes across center. Grant's on his hip. Left-hand pass into the near corner to Achua. Precious now goes back up top to Pascal. Shot clock down to eight. Pascal trying to work on Watford. Straight away, here comes Pascal at the near elbow. Lost the ball, got it back, elevates, and missed badly. But that's off the leg of Grant. And they're going to say shot clock violation. That went out of bounds before the shot clock hit zero, no? I thought so, too. <laughs> That's some hometown cooking, if you ask me. 114-100. Raptors by 14 with 2.36 to go in the ballgame on Toronto Raptors basketball. Brought to you by Tangerine on Sportsnet 590. The fan. Hey, Raptor fans. What would you rather have? More money or more vacation? Whichever you pick, it's a win-win. Just like hitting the 50-50 jackpot. When you buy tickets to the MLSC Foundation Lottery, you support kids and youth in communities across Ontario. Last season, over $1 million in jackpot prizes were won. That means more money and more vacation. To talk about a true win-win? Visit 5050raps.com for your tickets today. Lottery license number 1274001. 18 plus, play responsibly. What's happening these days gas and food prices are through the roof and mortgage rates are skyrocketing too talk about bad timing there's bills car payments kids lessons and what about the fun stuff you need room to breathe and someone to help figure it out you need new borrow to show you how to solve your debt and save money with the equity in your home use your home to get a loan with new borrow start your new tomorrow at newborrow.com Please be advised, if you find winter driving distressing, the following is a real audio clip of a Subaru driving on an unplowed mountain pass in the Yukon in minus 23 degree conditions. Just listen to Subaru's standard symmetrical full-time all-wheel drive go to work on all that ice and snow. And that sound is our confident driver whistling Beethoven's fifth, I believe. Visit your local Subaru dealer and really own winter with uncommon winter capability. Back at it. Toronto Raptors basketball on Sportsnet 590 The Fan. Welcome back. Paul Jones, Eric Smith with you. Fourth quarter action. The Raptors leading the Blazers 114-110 with 2.36 to play. We appreciate you tuning in on a Saturday night, which has now become an early Sunday morning as the Raptors lead the Blazers. Toronto looking to improve to 2-1 and one on this seven-game West Coast road trip. Well, a lot of people, like I said, there's a lot of angst about what the Raptors should do. I play the long game. Be patient. Raptors on a 20-10 to 10 run since Portland cut the thing to four. Hence the 14-point lead here and 2.36 to go. Like I said, I said two or three more scores. They got one score at the free throw line with Achua. I still think a couple more scores, two more, and this should be the game regardless of what happens with the defense. Lillard drives down Main Street, turns around, passes to Little. Back to Lillard, far corner, triple, hits the side of the backboard, but he gets his own miss back, drives to the 10, and lays it in. Wow. Raptor lead is 12. Dan Vliet drives at center, passes to Siakam, back over to Freddie. Van Vliet stops the dribble, finds Achua on the far wing. Got to be aggressive and take this ball to the goal. Here's your aggressiveness in the lane, stops on a dime, lays it up and in. Precious Achua. They're pressuring you out on the perimeter, wanting you to stop and look for a pass. 
knife right through them, take it to the 10, and that's what Precious did. 116-102. Lillard straight away, three ball up, no good. Down low, rebound to Barnes. One more score here. They got two of the three I wanted. One more here makes it a 16-point lead. 145 to play. Van Vliet lobs a pass to Barnes. Barnes gets to the far elbow. Now goes to Siakam. Pascal up top straight away. Siakam backing up, now trying to drive on Simons. Gives it to Van Vliet. Far corner to Precious. Three ball up and in for Achua. And that might be the nail in the cuff. And the Raptors lead 119-102. What a ball game for Precious Achua. 27 points, 13 rebounds, and really terrific shot selection. Think back to a year ago, Eric, at this point. Everybody was wringing their hands and, no, Precious, no, no, no. They had these wild forays to the basket and yeah. shooting threes. And Nick Nurse even said at some point Masai came in yelling at Nick, saying, what's Precious doing out there? And Nick was playing the long game. Let him expand his skills. Let's give him the freedom. We'll talk to him about when and where to go. But it's easier to rein somebody in than it is to crank them up and push them. And you're seeing the best of that right now, the way Precious is playing. Precious Achua with a career-high 27 points. Check that. I want to double-check that. It's definitely a season high. And I believe it is a career high, regular season career high, 27 points for Precious Achua with 132 to go in the ball game, and the Raptors leading 119-102. He's put the work in this in during the summer. We know that he definitely has the confidence. And you put them together and you get a night like tonight for Precious. <laughs> Portland out of the timeout, inbounding the ball. Blazers down by 17 with only 90 seconds to play. Well, Chauncey Phillips is waving the flag. Yeah, he's waving the white flag. Triple up, it rattled a couple of rims and ultimately fell down as Portland gets three more on the board as that one was good to go for Johnson. Keon Johnson buried that one to cut the Raptor lead to 14. Flynn trying to answer back near sideline, aired it, but it's cleaned up right under the rim by Ron Harper Jr. into the game for Toronto, who lays it up and in. Hasn't seen a ton of burn this year, but ready to go. He's been putting up some big numbers for Raptors 905. Driving in the lane, no good right at the rim. That was Walker. He saw a little bit of burn in the first half. Here he is in cleanup time, late fourth quarter. Downton Jr. for the Raptors. Lobs it to Coloco, who dunks it down on the alley-oop, and the Raptors push the lead to 123-105. 32 seconds to go. Watford driving. Passes off. Far corner. Triple no good. That was Butler. And the Raptors with the rebound will advance across center. They're going to have to give it up before the end of the game as there's about a four-and-a-half second differential shot clock game clock. Good win for Toronto. What a terrific bounce back after expending a lot of energy in Golden State and not quite getting to the finish line. They come out, get a great start, and ride it all the way home. One five point fourth quarter. Sorry, Jonesy, 123-105 the final as there's 3.6 seconds remaining. Raptors took the turnover on the shot clock violation so i would assume here that portland's just going to inbound the ball and yes they do they hold the ball and that does it you hear the final buzzer go off in the background toronto winning 123 105 as we take a look at the diamond player of the game jonesy the diamond player of the game presented by kalani jewelry the official luxury jeweler of the toronto raptors well uh, come on i, I know where i you're would going. give it to precious yeah. Achua tonight it was it's pretty easy he's done a really good job coming in off the bench and kind of picking up the slack for OG Ananobi. Give him credit. And hopefully he gets some rest and he can crank it up and do it again Monday night when they go to Phoenix. Again, 123-105 the final. We will step aside for the break, come back with the final stats, and then 
Send it off to our post-game coverage with Raptors Reaction. Toronto wins by 18, a wire-to-wire win on Toronto Raptors basketball. Brought to you by Tangerine on Sportsnet 590. The fan. With the cold weather upon us, there's no reason why you still can't stay warm and connected. So this winter, make the Monte Carlo Inns your home away from home for quality accommodations, functional meeting facilities, and cozy restaurants. With locations throughout Southern Ontario, Monte Carlo Inns is ready to check you in. Enter promo code WINTER at MonteCarloWinds.com for savings of 15% off our luxury suites. Monte Carlo Your home away from home. Ray Maliotz here for eBay Motors. So you ordered a new air filter for your car. You try to install it, but it doesn't fit. So you take a little bit off the sides. What well, still doesn't fit? Well, you could try to sit on it. Or just go to eBay Motors and get it right the first time. When you see the green check, you know that part's going to fit. Air filters, brakes, headlights. eBay Motors has millions of parts. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors, let's ride. Introducing Subway's Refresh Crispy Chicken Recipe, made with delicious seasoned chicken breast, starting at just $3.99. It's so good, we made four delicious ways to enjoy it, like the sidekick served in a soft potato bun, or the crispy chicken bacon and peppercorn ranch made with maplewood smoked bacon, or in a rice wrap or a savory rice bowl. Which one will you try first? Subway, eat fresh, refresh. Freshly prepared for your order. Delivery fees, extras, add-ons, small order and service fees additional, plus taxes. For a limited time at participating restaurants. At Toyota, our vehicles have always had quality and dependability built right in. Because after you take me to hockey, I've got drum lessons, then a birthday party, then karate, rock climbing. Quality means everything to us because it means everything to you. Order a new 2023 RAV4 LE all-wheel drive starting from $35,872. Price includes additional fees, taxes extra. Visit shoptoyota.ca or your local Ontario Toyota dealer today. It's time to Toyota. Back to the action. Toronto Raptors basketball on Sportsnet 590 The Fan. Welcome back, Eric Smith. Paul Jones with you. 123-105, the final. The Raptors beat the Portland Trail Blazers going wire to wire for the win. They never trailed in the ballgame. And Toronto gets 27 points, a career-high 27, along with 13 rebounds from Precious Achua. Pascal Siakam had 24 points. Scotty Barnes, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists as he flirted with the triple-double. 19 points for Gary Trent. 13 of those came in the first quarter. Fred Van Vliet, 11 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds, and he was solid in so many ways in the fourth quarter on the other side for the Blazers 30 for Damian Lillard in the loss 26 for Jeremy Grant and Jonesy two and one now on the seven game road trip and the Raptors improved to 23 and 28. Yeah. Um, good night. Good win. Good road win. Uh, second night of the back to back got off to a great start and just able to ride it. I think that probably buoyed them and gave them some energy Give credit to Fred Van Vliet. You know, he's the leader. Um, 11 points. It sure seemed like he had a lot more than 11. But, you know, six rebounds, nine assists, a a real solid job steadying the team. Achua, as we talked about, our player of the game. Siakam was better tonight. Trent came out against his old team. And then Scotty Barnes, a couple of a few assists shy of a triple-double. It was a pretty good effort. And considering that you put Precious in the starting lineup, you still got a little bit of production off the bench. Boucher gave you 10. Thad Young was good on, on three of four. So, you know, your 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 bench actually outscored Portland's bench. So good win for Toronto. They'll fly to Phoenix and get some sun and get some rest and hopefully crank it up for Monday night. Raptors reaction. Our postgame coverage is coming up in mere moments as, again, the Raptors win 123-123. 105 as they will get set for that game as jonesy just mentioned coming up on monday against the phoenix suns thanks to our entire crew here at uh, raptors central jr manitad and tom young and thanks to all of you for tuning in on a saturday night slash early sunday morning as toronto picks up the victory in the pacific northwest thanks for tuning in to toronto raptors basketball brought to you by tangerine on sportsnet 590 the fan Hello and 
welcome to the Raptors Reaction Podcast for Sports Staff 590 The Fan. I'm your host, Lim Lou, speaking to you after the Toronto Raptors to take care of business on the second half of back to back, winning by a score of 123 to 105 against uh, the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, the Raptors have beaten Portland in both meetings now. And um, yeah, a good response, definitely after that Golden State game, which was very, very sloppy. Um, obviously, Golden State played really well. Their ball movement was excellent. They had 40 assists as a team. And, you know, the Raptors fought hard. They just kind of, you know, were always sort of just not in control, right? A very, very loose game. Um, and you did wonder, okay, how are they going to come out the next night? Um, it is a busy schedule. They're on the road. Third game in four nights. Second half of back-to-back. How are they going to do? They came out great. I mean, as good as a first quarter as you've seen from the Raptors. The Raptors won the first quarter. Get this 37 to 14. And Portland had to call the first two timeouts, um, you know, and everything was working. Uh, I I think, look, in this matchup, the Raptors do have some very distinct advantages. Um, You know, specifically, Portland plays a lot through their smaller guards who they can get downhill. And we saw that in the second half. But for the most part, the Raptors have some real size advantages that they're able to attack. They're able to exploit. Um, Portland's also without, uh, you know, a, a pair of key-ish rotation players you know Josh Hart was was decent in the first meeting against Toronto and uh Yusuf Nurkic is is a big presence down low um I didn't really think that they had good replacements for those guys like Eubanks got exposed on defense repeatedly and then the Sear Little was just fine whatever right but um for a team that already doesn't have a lot of depth Portland um you know they weren't really able to replace that in fact in both games the Raptors have played Portland the Raptors bench has outplayed Portland's bench. Um, I remember last game, Portland was in Toronto and they had a short rotation that day too. But man, I, Portland got three total points off the bench, so it's 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 pretty dire for them. Um, but at the same time, yeah, the Raptors just started this game out super strong, which is exactly what you wanted to see. I mean, look, listen, realistically, when you saw this on the schedule, and you got you know the Warriors in Portland, you know, um, on back to back nights. The Warriors game was always going to be very, very hard to win, um, no matter how much the the Warriors are dysfunctional uh, or that they're disappointing this season. The the matter of fact is that they're they're just excellent at home, right? So you're probably not going to take that one, but you needed to take this one because Portland is again a really good matchup. And yeah, I mean, just right away, you just you just saw the Raptors dominating the paint. Um, whether that was Scotty in the post, he would draw a double, or Pascal in the post, he would draw a double. And so often in the first quarter, you saw the Raptors um, being able to make the extra pass. The passing tonight was excellent, I thought, um, for the Raptors in general. Not a lot of iso ball except for in the third quarter. And yeah, I mean, I, I think why not, right? You, you, especially when you have a team that, you know, they're they're starting in their backcourt, uh, Dame Lillard and Anthony Simons. You can attack both those guys and they don't have a rim protector. So, you know, get into the post. And each time that uh, the double was coming over, the guy who was open would always be Precious Achua, who uh, was always positioned well near the basket, um, you know, in the dunker spot there. And what, yeah, when Eubanks came over, uh, it, it was just layup after layup for Precious Achua. By the way, Precious tonight finished with 27 points, a career high, 13 rebounds, two steals, a block. An excellent, excellent game in 33 minutes, plus 27 as well. Um, but yeah, you know, he he really got off to a great start just because of the fact that the Raptors had such great advantages in the post. And of course, look, if they weren't doubling in the post, it was a really easy score. Like it was like Scotty Barnes posting up Anthony Simons and going to the basket and banking it in. Like, it's it's very easy. Anthony Simons is like, I don't know, 6'4", 200 pounds. Scotty Barnes is like just a tank compared to him and has way too much length. So, of course, you got to bring the help, but it was just so easy. And on the other end, I thought the Raptors did a really good job defending um, all night. Uh, I thought Fred did an admirable job of guarding Dame Lillard the full you know, the length of the floor. Obviously, you got to put some ball pressure on him and stuff like that. Uh, ran him off the three-point line. And when he got downhill, the Raptors had pretty good help at the start of the game. Now, of course, the way if you watch a lot of Portland games, Dame likes to get his teammates involved early just because he knows, like, okay, look, late in the game, he's going to take over. Um, but early in the game, let's see who's got it going. And and Dame was trying to make the extra pass and trying to be a good teammate and, and, and trying to show trust in his guys. They just weren't really doing anything for him. Um, you know, and yeah, I mean, it was the, the Blazers had to call the first time out after it was like 14 to one. Then the Blazers had to call the second time out after the Raptors went up like 23 to seven. Um, 
And even after some of those timeouts, the Blazers still wouldn't execute. Like, you know, stuff, small stuff that doesn't even show up in the box score. When this happened twice, where Fred uh, got up tight on the screen, guarding uh, guarding the ball against uh, against Dame, the screen would come. And on in the first quarter, right after that, the, the second timeout by Portland, um, they turned the ball over without even making a play just because of the fact that Dame swung his elbows through, caught Fred in the chin, and then Eubanks caught him from behind and knocked him over. And that's clearly an offensive foul. In fact, that should be two offensive fouls, really. Um, and there's another play, I think, in the fourth quarter where Fred had the same thing. Eubanks sort of uh, was moving on the screen and Fred ate it as well. Um, but yeah, it just everything was going you know, smoothly, even when the Raptors bench came in, you know, uh, they continue to roll. I thought, um, again, same formula, right? Things like Thad Young posting up Gary Payton, the third, as good of a defender as Gary Payton is first off, he's coming off of injury. So he's not really, um, he, Gary Payton, the second, he's, he's not really, uh, fully up to speed yet, but you know, uh, he, he, as good of a defender as he is, you know, Thad's just way bigger or stronger than him. Right. So he's able to get in there, you know, Thad got free for an open dunk, um, which I mean, like, how are you letting him dunk in year 16 against you? Like, that's not even his game right now. His game is flip shots and, and passes out of the posts and you're letting him dunk. That's how bad Portland's defense was letting Thad Young dunk. And then Gary Trent with the step back three. So, you know, everything was rolling. Everything was smooth. Um, I would say the second quarter, the Blazers got back to like just producing offensively. In fact, I thought the second and third quarter, the Blazers probably shot roughly like 70% in that stretch. I know for the third quarter, the Blazers were 15 of 18 in the quarter for 39 points. So that wasn't good, but the offense got going, I think more so in the second quarter. Um, but again, like the Raptors were still able to, to maintain the advantage. First off, they jump out to a, a, a huge lead, obviously. And that makes you a lot com- more comfortable. And, and, and what comfortable looks like is Nick Nurse trusting his bench to a degree that he played this following lineup. Malachi Flynn, Juancho Hernan Gomez, Chris Boucher, Thad Young with Scotty Barnes. You're asking a lot out of Scotty to make that group work. Um, because, you know, Malachi, Juancho, Thad in particular are not regular rotation players. And then Chris, obviously, he's your sixth man right now because Precious have to be promoted into the starting five because OG is missing time. Um, but you know, Chris has had ups and downs as well. And you're asking Scotty to carry essentially four inconsistent bench players. Um, but again, it was still working just because of the fact that Portland wasn't really able to present much of resistance of, of their own. I mean, in fact, the, the guys that they brought off the bench weren't even, you know, up to par with what the Raptors were bringing off the bench. Um, so, you know, they continue to get it going and, and you have plays where like Thad Young wins a rebound over three Blazers for an and one, you know, like stuff like that. It was just kind of easy. But once the Blazers brought their starters back in, that's when they started clicking. Um, They started getting downhill. And that was the main issue. Anthony Simons, Dame Lillard, to a lesser extent, Jeremy Grant. But um, those two guards continuously getting downhill. And listen, the Raptors don't have that great of rim protection right now. Um, but they have multiple bodies who can sort of stack uh, in the lane and if the Raptors make the right rotations and bump the roller or like, you know, make sure that they, you know, have a help defender in position rather than just, you know, straight up letting guys get beat one on one. Um, you know, they they can help and they have athleticism and they have length, but ultimately, you know, they don't have a true shot blocker. And and this is where in a game like this, I, I would have liked to see Nick use Christian Coloco more in, in the mix, right? You you compare, for example, like I'm I'm fine with Chris, I'm fine with Thad. Um, I even, I'm even Malachi, I suppose it's okay. Cause you, I guess you do need a second ball handler and you're just trying to buy some rest for Fred and some rest for Gary, but like, could Christian not have played the 12 minutes I want played and give you some like actual shot blocking at the basket. And who knows? He might've committed like three fouls in that stretch. Cause he, he does have that kind of tendency sometimes Christian to give up fouls. But you know, I, I did want to see a little bit of rim protection, but yeah, I mean, when it's Thad Young, who's your last line of defense, uh, guys are just driving through him and, and and scoring because again, he's in year sixteen. He's not really in position to jump around and, and and contest shots or block shots. And in fact, it's not even just like his specific positional play because I really don't think there's any too much issues with that. It's more like just the opposing team is looking downhill and they're like, okay, yeah, I'm like like if you're Anthony Simons, you're a very athletic twenty three year old, and you're driving downhill off a high screen, and obviously they got to chase over the top because he's a threat to shoot. If you're only seeing Thad Young in the way, you're definitely going to have the confidence to attack, right? So, you know, the Blazers got their offense going. Now, of course, the Blazers couldn't really eat into the Raptors' uh, advantage, at least in the first half, because the Raptors were able to 
um, continuously make plays, right? And, um, you know, you had uh, Precious with an and one under the basket. After Pascal made an extra pass, um, Pascal could have taken the, the shot, but he made 